Hi everyone. So some people are still feeling confused about long division using the new method. So for those people that are feeling this way, here's an even simpler way to solve these division questions. Um, for everyone else that's feeling fine about what we're doing, you can just keep on doing what you're doing. This way is just going to require a few extra steps. So let's take uh, the number, for example, 132 divided by 4. Okay, so to solve this, I am going to use just my friendly numbers. Now, if using other types of numbers is fine for you, then go for it. But otherwise, I'm going to use 1, 2, 5, and 10. And I'm going to ask myself, which of these numbers can I multiply 4 by to get as close as I can to 132? Well, I know that if I multiply 4 by 1, it's 4, that doesn't get me very, very far. 4 times 2 is only 8, that's not very high. 4 times 5 is 20, but I think I can do better. I think I'm going to do 4 times 10. And if I multiply 4 by 10, I get 40. I'm going to write it under my number and I'm going to subtract. And I'm going to end up with 92. All right, I already have a smaller number to work with now. Now I'm just working with 92. Again, I'm going to ask myself, what can I multiply 4 by to start getting closer to this number, 92? Well, I'm going to use 10 again. If I'm just using my friendly numbers, that's the highest I can go. And I'm still not going to go over 92, so that works. So 4 times 10 is 40. I'm going to put it under there, I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to get 52. Now we're getting somewhere. Our number is getting smaller and smaller. I'm not finished though. Again, what friendly number can I multiply the 4 by to get as close as I can to 52? Well, 4 times 5 is only 20, but 4 times 10 is 40, so that's pretty close. So 4 times 10 is 40 minus, and I end up with the number 12. Great. And I'm still not done. Again, what friendly number, or maybe there's another number that you can see right away that you can multiply 4 by to get really close to 12. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it's not a friendly number, but I know that if I multiply 4 times 3, I'm going to get 12. So in this case, because I'm right at the end and I know that, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply 4 times 3. Oops, I'm going to write it in my column first. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. And there we go. In this case, I have no remainders. I've gone all the way down to 0. So no remainders for me. Now I'm going to add up all the numbers in this column here. And when I do that, 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, plus 1 is 33. It, so my answer is going to be 33. As you can see, there's no remainder. But if I was to end up with a little number here that was smaller than 4, that would be my remainder. Now, I want you to try a couple on your own. See if you can solve some of these on your own. 